money out of that. Well, they keep saying it, but nothing's happened yet. They took a property from Portsmouth. Well, Jesus. The mistake was made when the base closed. That's when the city should have acted positively, uh, permanently about it. They took away our airport. That was a municipal airport. That's right. right. That's right. Well, just be your own person and do what you want to do. Yeah, it's nice if you know it, but there's always somebody to put an obstacle in your path. <laughs> if it ain't the government, it's somebody else. The son of a bitch, he had two cars, a car of wood, and a boat, and all he had room enough was for one little car. So I told him, you're on my property, and I want you to, you know, stay off it because we can't park, can't swing the park. So he'd give me some shit. So I said, okay. He says, prove it. I said, okay. So the way to prove it is we survey it. He says, yeah, get it surveyed now, pay for half. So I got it surveyed. Cost $1,200. He says, I don't believe it. I'm not paying for it. <laughs> Contrary to his interest. Yeah. I says, okay. Because I showed him where it was, where I thought, where I knew it was. I'd been here all my life, for Christ's sake. I knew where the properties were. So, <clears throat> I offered to give him the right of way to use, to get to and from his garage. And pay for co half the cost, that's all I wanted. I didn't do it, so I said, all right. So I put up some cement barricades, he can't get to his garage. Told him I wanted to stay off my property entirely. He was still continuing to walk across it. So I put up a six foot chain link fence. Now he can't drive, he can't walk. I want to go to Elliot. There's a guy on Elliot, I think there's people in Elliot that's got some loan. This school down here is something else. Jesus, uh, I'll, I'll be so glad when my granddaughter's out of it. They, they, they follow up more kids follow up, when, they, I guess when, so. when they apply for schools. Christ. Yeah, I can remember one time uh, when, when, it, when anything is like that, you've got to uh, assign the responsibility to the top echelon. That's because, right. You know, if the top Starting echelon with the school is... Board. Yeah, the, the one that's in charge... Starting right. with the school board. Yeah, but you know, the, oh, yeah, the guy the that's in charge of that is yeah. the guy that's in charge of that. Jesus. Oh, look at that, Scott. Uh, no, we can go like no, around the corner with some dust. Boy, he's one only. Better than I thought it was. You know, what is it? Here I am. And here I am. He's trying to fly in front of my way. Great. 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 Decisions. Decisions. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
You don't make nothing now without going through him. If you do, your ass is in trouble. And one says, my name is Peter, but I'm not an apostle. And the other one says, my name is Paul, but I'm not a saint. And the girl says, my name is Mary, but what the hell can I say? <laughs> He became a bombardier and I was a pilot, but we had some time off and I wanted to come home to see my girl and get married. And he, he lent me 20 bucks because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have enough money to take the train home. And so about, oh, 25 years later or something, I became a principal in Concord, New Hampshire. And Hugh Gregg was the governor, so I went in to see him, and I said to his secretary, would you please tell Mr. the governor that uh, Dave Saywood is here, and uh, I'd like to repay that 20 bucks, because he, he made my, <laughs> my day, you know. So he come out, and he says, who the hell are you? And I said, you don't remember lending me 20 bucks? He says, well, I said, well, here's $20 for your campaign. He says, I won't take it. 
So when Judd Gregg, Judd Gregg ran for yeah. governor, I, I gave 20 bucks to his son towards his <coughs> campaign. What I owe you? 31, 31, 20 or something. I got an ugly issue.